Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. To continue on our series for front-end development, uh, code quality improvement, in this video we are going to see how to run JavaScript code quality tools, uh, analysis code, which is static analysis tools, which we called here is linting. And as we explain, we have many tools, but we will use uh, in our video one example, which is GS Hint. And we were running that using Grunt uh, Node Package Management Library. So we will see how to configure the, the Grunt file and how to run that either from the command line or from the Visual Studio command line task runner. So let's see that. Talking about GS Hint, which is a code analysis tool for JavaScript, CSS, and so on. So we will start, it is the same concept. We will start by installing the Grunt plugin. So if we go here, this is the Grunt Contrib GS Hint. So just navigating to the project folder and installing this plugin so here this is the web solution yes exactly maybe i will use this for running so let's install here the same place so this will install the contrib gs hint grant plugin now it's installed i can go for change to see the gs hint here the library has been added so now I install the plugin, I need to put the configuration for what I'm going to the static analysis code configuration for here. So let me put that. So now, as you can see, I have one task in my grant file, which is Jasmine. I will add a new one, which is JS hint. So I have two tasks. Yes, inside the Jasmine, I have Istanbul, which is a subtask inside the Jasmine. So this is the GS hint. And at the end, I will just need to load the here, not Jasmine, but GS hint which is the same name as this task of course this is not the same name the the library name this is very important so once i have that i can start to run that so let's try to run that from the command line if i say grunt gs hint let's see the analysis One, one, one file lint free done. Here, of course, it put all the, of course, this configuration web. No, this is not a file. I want to see script. So we have error. Here, as we can see on this part on the document calc function.js on line 8, this is confusing pluses. To get more information about confusing pluses, we can go for uh, GS hint rules. So, here, of course, uh, this is the GS documents. And also we can go for more about the errors. Here about confusing plus and what does it mean for that and how to solve that. And of course, if I want more about many of um, static analysis rule for GS hint or lint or ES lint, we can find them on using the search for that. So this, so Let's also see how we can run that, not from the command line, but from the task runner. So as we can see here, we have here the GS hint. So if I double click that, this will do the same. And here I have the same confusing pluses here. We can see that. 
So let's fi fix that problem here in line 8. So as we saw the fix, I just need to put that between parentheses, then save my file, and then run that again. And three files lint free, and I have no problem about linting the file. Of course, I can change the settings to specify which files, which rules I want to apply, and so on. So now I, I configure GS hint, and I run that from the command line, and I run that as well from the command line task runner uh, inside the Visual Studio. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please, if you have any question or you would like to, to know anything, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, muhammadradwan.com. You can also click on the links that will appear on the screen, which is including the DevOps guide, which is published on the TechNet. This guide includes basic principles about DevOps, for people that want to get more familiar about uh, the high level of DevOps, you can also click on the, the related video, which is usually is good adding more information for the current video, which is appear now on the screen. Thank you.